right, Matt just found this little thing underneath a cedar tree. And I think I just found a teeny tiny little nest that only looks big enough for maybe one or two of the, no, probably just one of these. So we would have to get a ladder and see if we can put it back up in it. Open up. There's another piece. Chew it up. There you go. I wish we could, could keep this thing as a pet. Kaysen, you would mm -hmm. have to do this like a hundred times a day, so no. Get that piece up. Eat it up. Come on. So Kaysen went and found a worm, and Matt's cutting it up into tiny pieces with the scissors. Watch this. And this crazy little Open thing's up. eating it. Come on. If it was older, Ooh, we that might have been too it. big. No, it's not. So he just swallowed it. No more? Are its eyes closed? No, oh, yeah, they're not even open yet. Really young. Man, I wonder what kind of bird it is. Looks like a little ostrich right now. There you go. We just Googled how to take care of a baby bird, and we are definitely putting this thing back up in the nest because it says to feed it every 15 minutes. <laughs> That's not happened. It's already pooped right there. It looks like it has something on its face. Might be worm. A little bit of worm on its face. Or no, is that part of its face? It's on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See? Where? All right. So let's take it. Those white things. That's, That's part a, of its face. Oh, I don't That's know. That crazy beak. little thing. That's its beak. All right. Let's take case and you pick it up and take it out to Bubby. All right. We just found the nest. Let me see it. It was in a bad position, turned sideways. The parents are flying around. One of the birds didn't make it. Cameron found it hanging from a branch upside down. So if we can save this one, that'll be two. Did, could you tell what species it was when the parents came by? I could probably look it up in the book. It was both brown and one had a red head. So we're gonna get a container and zip tie it inside the tree and put the nest in there. All right, so I got a lunch meat container, put a bunch of holes in it. He's gonna secure that up into the tree with some zip ties and about the same area it was. We'll put the little nest in there. Let me see the nest, baby. Those are just little hatchlings. Okay. All right, you ready, Bubby? I would have liked to stuck a worm or two in the bucket so they didn't have to go too far. He's just going for it. He just went straight for it. Oh, it's so cold, it hurts. Your boot's full of water? Let me see. Yeah, that's what happens when you fall in, bud. Mommy, I'm not going in the water. Stop, Well, what happened? How'd you fall in the water? I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? How'd it happen? It always happens.
And on this side. This chubby little gremlin gets into everything. So it looks like he's been in the shed. Do you know how to do it? Yes. Oh, is that how? Yes. Oh, okay. And then what do you do? I catch it. You catch it? Yes. Okay. Oh. Wow. Was that a good job? No, it was a bad one. Oh, it was a bad one? He needs me. He's an angry one. Apple. He needs me, Mom. Oh. He needs me. Okay. You got to distract it. Close the door, Kara. Nope, you're staying in here, Kara. Alright, get one of your brothers to be in the front while you come up behind it. Or you could leave it. No, we can't leave it. They, hold it down. Oh, mommy, open its mouth. It looks like it's hungry. Hold it down, Kevin. Let Kaysen jump it. Hold it down. All right, carry it home. Oh. Whoa, mommy, look at its phony tail. Are you too scared? I don't have anything. No. You just gotta hold the sides. Oh, now what? We have to get the leash off it. Oh yeah, it's gonna love being carried sideways like that. Safer. I feel safer. <laughs> you feel safer. Oh, look, look. look, he's turning. He's moving. Whoa! He wants your legs. We're sorry we're bothering you. We'll put you up in just a minute. Get your legs on the chummy. We'll put you in some water, baby. Get him in there more. Uh -oh. Let him look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Lift, lift. Let's see. All right, so we are going to go put him back pretty Who's much so, very close to where he was. Who's teeny tiny boy He now? was, um... Right where our mountain slopes down and the woods kind of connect and there's a pond. He was probably heading towards that pond. So if they go put him right down here, he'll be pretty much aiming right where he was going. All right. Never get him. Don't be scared. It's a little lizard. <laughs> yeah, because it just bit Camden. Look, that might not be a skink. You might need to... What, Daddy? That is a skink. Honey, look. Get some video footage. That's a huge lizard. Let me get close to it. Hold it down. If, if it is a skate, it's a different species. There's than the no blood. Blue one. Look, there's no blood. Off the field guide. Can I Alright, hand him to Kaysen while you're looking it up. Can I see? Mommy it wins. Is a broad -headed. Broad -headed so the game. normal one we find is the the Those southeastern ones. five line. And then the little and the blue tailed mole. All right, Daddy, did you get the house raised up where you wanted it? In the back, he didn't like how the back of the house was kind of touching the grass and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the back was only like four or five inches off the ground. It should have been way more than that. Now it's, you know, eight more inches, so it's probably 13, 14 inches off the ground now in the back. And then it's about 20 inches in the front. So you could. A very, a very slender person could crawl underneath the back, but even Big Daddy could probably fit in the front now.